I hope this message finds you in a moment of renewed strength and courage. I understand that you're going through a difficult time and that you're feeling disheartened and on the verge of giving up on Jesus Christ. But let me remind you that even in the face of hardships, you are never alone. Jesus Christ, the one who loves you unconditionally, is by your side, ready to guide you through every storm. In moments of despair, it's understandable that doubts may arise. But remember that faith is not built on the absence of doubt, but rather on the choice to believe despite it. Jesus himself said, Blessed are they that have not seen and yet have believed. John 20.29, JHV When you feel weak and burdened, turn to words of the scripture for comfort and strength. Psalm 34, 17, 18, KGM reminds us, The righteous cry, and the Lord heareth, and delivereth them out of all their troubles. The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart, and saveth such as be of a contrite spirit. Have faith that God hears your cries and is ever close to those who are hurting. Proverbs 3, 5, 6, KG provides a gentle reminder. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Surrender your burdens to the Lord, for he knows the plans he has for you. Jeremiah 29, 11, KJV. Plans for your welfare and not for evil. Plans to give you hope and a future. Remember that Jesus Christ himself endured suffering on this earth. He empathizes with your pain and knows what it feels like to be overwhelmed. Hebrews 4, 15 kg says, For we have not an high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted like as we are. Yet without sin, he understands your struggles and offers his hand to lift you up. Don't lose hope, my friend. God's love is unchanging and everlasting. His grace is sufficient to carry you through the darkest valleys. Psalm 30, 5 Jav says, Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. Hold on to the promise that joy will come again. Lean on your faith, for it has the power to sustain you. I encourage you to reach out to your fellow believers, to share your burdens and find solace in the community of faith. Together, you can find strength and encouragement in the fellowship of believers. Hebrews 10, 25. KV, allow them to support you, pray for you, and help you rediscover the love of Christ. May you find renewed faith and hope in the midst of your struggles. Remember that Jesus Christ is a source of light even in the darkest times. Hold on to him, for he will never let you go. I want to continue sharing an uplifting message with you, reinforcing the importance of holding on to your faith in Jesus Christ, even though you may be going through hardships that have caused you to question and doubt. Remember that God's love for you is unwavering, and he is always ready to embrace you with open arms. When you feel like giving up, turn to the book of Isaiah for encouragement. Isaiah 41, 10. KGV says, Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. Yeah, I will help 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 thee. Take comfort in these powerful words, knowing that God is with you providing strength and support through every trial. In times of despair, it's natural to question why God allows us to face difficulties. However, Romans 8, 28, JV assures us, and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the call according to his purpose. Even when we cannot see the purpose behind our suffering, 
trust that God is working everything out for our ultimate good. I encourage you to delve into the Psalms, as they are a source of solace and inspiration. Psalm 46, 1. Cheji declares, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Remember that you are not alone in your struggles. God is your refuge, a place of safety and protection, and he is always present to help you overcome your challenges. When you feel disconnected from your faith, seek solace in prayer. Philippians 4, 6, 7. K. Jeff advises, be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your requests be made known unto God, and the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Pour out your heart to God, express your doubts and fears, and allow his peace to fill your heart and mind. It's important to remember that your relationship with Jesus Christ is a personal journey. It may have its ups and downs, but the key is to keep seeking him and drawing closer to him. James 4, 8, Kejev encourages, draw nigh to God and he will draw nigh to you. Take small steps towards him, whether it's through reading the Bible, engaging in worship, or spending quiet moments in his presence. He will meet you where you are. Lastly, surround yourself with positive influences and seek the support of fellow believers. Hebrews 10, 24, 25. KJV reminds us, and let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together, as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another, and so much the more, as ye see the day approaching. Find a community of believers who can encourage and uplift you, where you can grow together in faith. Remember, dear friend, that your struggles do not define your worth or your ability to connect with Jesus Christ. Hold on to your faith, knowing that God is working in and through your circumstances. He has a plan for you, and even in the midst of hardships, He will guide you towards a brighter future. You are loved, cherished, and valued. Don't give up, for there is hope beyond your current circumstances. Allow the love of Jesus Christ to envelop you, bringing light and healing to your weary soul. I am committed to encouraging you on your journey and providing you with the uplifting message you need. Even when you feel like giving up, remember that God's love for you is immeasurable and He has a plan and purpose for your life. In moments of doubt, turn to the book of Matthew for reassurance. Matthew 11, 28, 30. Chedi says, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Jesus invites you to come to him with all your burdens and weariness, promising to give you rest and peace. Trust in his gentle and loving nature. When you're facing trials, it can be tempting to focus on your circumstances rather than on God's promises. But remember the words of Psalm 119, 105, Kechev. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet, and a light unto my feet, and a light unto my feet, and a light unto my path. The Bible is a beacon of lights, challenge. Allow the scriptures to illuminate your path and give you the wisdom and strength you need. In moments of weakness, remember that God's grace is sufficient for you. 2 Corinthians 12, 9, KGV reminds us, And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Even when you feel inadequate or overwhelmed, God's grace empowers you to persevere and overcome. Lean on his strength and trust that he will carry you through. Let me share with you 
the words of Romans 8, 38, 39. KGV, for I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature, shall in Christ Jesus our Lord. Nothing can separate you from the love of God. He is steadfast and faithful, even in the midst of trials. Hold on to this truth and find comfort in His unwavering love. When you feel disconnected from your faith, take time to reflect on the goodness of God. Psalm 34, H, encourages us, O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusteth in Him. Seek opportunities to experience God's goodness through prayer, worship, and acts of kindness. As you open your heart to Him, you will rediscover His presence and be reminded of His love for you. I encourage you to find strength and encouragement in the company of fellow believers. Hebrews 10, 24, 25, JV, emphasizes the importance of gathering together and supporting one another on the journey of faith. Surround yourself with people who can uplift you, pray for you, and speak words of truth into your life. Together, you can find renewed hope and encouragement. Remember that your struggles are not in vain. God can use them to shape you, strengthen you, and bring about His purposes in your life. Have faith that He is working behind the scenes, even when you can't see it. Hold on to your faith, for it is a powerful anchor in the midst of life's storms. God sees your pain, hears your prayers, and is with you every step of the way. Trust in Him, for He is the source of your strength and the bringer of hope.